Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I just want to show you this new plant that I just got. It is an ivy. It's called the Hedera Helix Ivory. I got it at Lowe's and it was $15 and something. So $16 for this plant and well worth it. As you can see, it is a trailing plant. I love that. It has a lot of trails on it. it. has really tiny leaves that feel waxy and are a little bit shiny. It's a very easy plant to care for. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. This plant does come from Europe, North Africa, and Central Asia. And you can find them anywhere, but I haven't seen a whole lot of these out just recently when I saw this one I decided I wanted to get this one for my collection I did just get a new shelf and I'm going to do a video on that and show you how it looks on this shelf but I wanted to go ahead and tell you a little bit about the plant first now when you water this plant it's very similar to the pothos I would water this plant let's see it's probably about an eight inch pot I would water it about three-fourths a cup of water a week during the spring and the summer. And then winter, your plant's going to go dormant. You do not want to water it that much. So I would cut back on the watering to about one-half a cup a week. That's all you're going to need. You can also check your soil, and if the top one inch is dry, then that's when it's good to dry again, to water again. You don't want to let it dry out too much, but you don't want to leave it sitting in water either because they don't like soggy soil and they don't like it too dry. Now, if it gets too dry, it's going to start drying out the leaves. If you water it too much, it's going to turn your leaves yellow. So you're going to want to try to get it as close to the right amount as possible. You're going to need a soil that drains really super well and they always come from the nursery in really good well-draining soil. But when you get ready to repot, then you're going to want to make sure you get a really good well-draining soil and a pot that has good drainage as well. Now for fertilizing, I would fertilize this plant from spring to fall and just fertilize it monthly. I also would give it plant food every two weeks. So you might want to water this week, then the next week you water, just give it plain water. I don't give it plant food every week. I give it every other week. And then the following week, give it uh, plant food again. And then the fourth week, give it fertilizer. That's how I would take care of it. Also, with the leaves being so small, as you can see, they're going to get dusty real easy. And not only that, you can get pests easier, though I haven't had a lot of problems with pests. Only a few plants have I had any problems with pests, but it can happen. And what you're going to want to do is occasionally, maybe every couple weeks or once a month, just take it over to the faucet or take it into the shower and just let the water run on it. Not too hard, but hard enough that it will knock off any of the dust or any pests that you might have on your plant. Now, lighting. This light does well in medium, this plant does well in medium light and it'll also do good in bright indirect light. You don't want to set it out in direct sunlight. It will burn the leaves. Also, if you set it next to a window, it can get too hot and burn the leaves. So I would put it in a medium light somewhere. I would put it somewhere that it still, you can get light in through the window. You don't want to put it completely in a dark area, of course. And if you put it in an inner, inner room, it's probably not going to do as well either. So just kind of medium light to bright indirect light is what you are going to need. Propagation. If you want to propagate this plant, just go down to the little nodes. Let's see if I can find one here for you. Let's see here. See right there where the leaf is? Right underneath the leaf, you can see the little nodes. All you do is clip that leaf off and clip underneath that node and put it in some water and it will root in approximately a week and a half to two weeks. That's how you can propagate it. You can also clip it off, dip it in plant hormone, and it will plant that way too. Some people like to root it that way. I prefer to just put it in water and let it root that way, but some people like to use the root hormone and stick it directly into a sandy soil. This plant needs a sandy type soil. 
pets. You need to be careful with your pets because it is mildly toxic. Now I have a new kitten and she loves my plants. And so I had to get some new shelving and I'm gonna show you that in another video. I had to get some new shelving, but you're gonna to want to make sure you put your plants up because this plant is mildly toxic. Now it's not gonna kill your cat, but it can make her really sick or your um, dog and you don't want to let children get a hold of it either so you want to be really careful to make sure that your plant is up high enough so they can't reach it okay there's all my care tips if you have any questions be sure and link them below i do check all of my messages and i try to answer each and every question thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video